Merry Christmas guys and welcome back to episode 12 of Enema Kun, where Enema has successfully managed to get his hands on the scene of beginning whilst also befriending a genie so I definitely can't wait to see what adventure this week's episode will bring us. So without further ado, let's get into things. Or maybe you've got a use to Nafla. No. Why were you put in the middle of an avalanche? Okay, not even gonna... Why were you filming Jaws? Ha what the f- When your parents use you as shark bit I have no words. Damn, season one takes us back. I see. Oh, surprisingly nice. Okay, really beautiful. Oh, Nafla. Oh, oh no, that's the same. That's definitely the same. How that hit Jazzy. Trauma. Oh shit, when you trauma is your parents? That's so That's so terrifying. Yuruma doesn't even want to remember the faces, nor do I even want to see the faces. Okay, I'm sure you can deal with that then. Come on, Yadomi, you're a demon now. And you guys can do that on your own. Home. We're already home. Edema, you know this is your home, so I'm proud of it. You manipulating, gaslighting little fox. I know they're not real, but I'm getting so mad. Well, at least they're not like hair yeah, real. Erema. Whoa. Okay, demons are less terrifying than this. <gasps> Erema, Jesus, where did that cough come from? A bit too hard. Wait, throughout the Harvest Festival? Now so fuck him up. That's right. Stank him up. You can't get, keep getting away with this. But that's just though, I'm also worried about Edma suffering from the trauma alone in a dark pit or whatever this is. Are you okay? How do we even get up? Oh. No, no, why would they be here? Think about it. This is an illusion. Get him a no. Clara would never say that. No, would I say Oh, no, 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 stop. Edema, they would never say that. Oh, you can't even run away from it because it's in your head. Oh god, this is actually horrifying. Would never, ever. Be strong, Edema, you're being so strong. That's why Irma's so good at eating everything. No, no, no. Remember the warmth. Oh. I've never seen it in my life. Oh my god, no Pachiko too. Wait, 
don't think that was part of the trauma. <gasps> it's bow tie. Let's go ahead and my. Oh my, oh my lord, your form was shaky as hell. Hey, you hit the target though, you hit the target though. <laughs> hey, at least, at least he has accuracy. Bang. True. A desire to hit the enemy. But okay, yeah, yeah. Whoa, <gasps> and my shoots. <laughs> but panic also kicks in in high stressful situation. Aim. Bam. Nope. <laughs> Tell it your desires. Oh, nice, nice. Ultra sweet defeated. <laughs> Wait, there's the next step. 99 more times. Beautiful. Because my parents put me in. Okay, I feel like that line. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, says a demon. <laughs> 98 more to go. 97. 96. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Oh, multiple targets. How? Gotcha. Is that possible? <gasps> I guess so. But this is why you chose Aramana, okay? <laughs> huh? Hell no. Oh my god. Go, Enema. That's aim. Bang. Damn. That look kind of reminded me of, um, Double Enema. Oh, fuck. Okay. Did not expect that. <laughs> Oh wait, so it wasn't into a magical monster. Of course. I'm gonna win no matter what. Let's freaking go, Enema. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this was like an emotionally traumatic experience, but at the same time, the fact that Enema was able to fight through the trauma and also pick himself back up so quickly. So impressive. Oh, and I also obviously love how the preview is also done by Nafa. I do wonder if they like made up a Nafa language or if it's just sounds, but like, I'm sure they had to write deliberate sounds, you know, they had to write a script for the VA, right? So did they just write like, nya nya, nya 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 nya, or like did they, I do wonder how they did that aspect. But yeah, as I was saying, this episode broke me because I don't think we've ever seen Enema like that, just in pure tears, even though when he was so young, he went through so much shit because of his parents. He's never broken down like that, but you know, being alone in that dark cave with your worst fears and traumas was the most 
most distressing thing I think I've ever seen. So yeah, in that moment I was really fearful of Edema in that situation because he was indeed all alone in that situation and I knew no one was just going to like um, magically pop in and get Edema out of that situation because that's also kind of not how mental trauma works. So the way that Edema fought through that and I'm so glad that Achiko's words kicked in right at that moment that Edema needed them the most so he was able to put his full desires into his bow and get himself out of the situation so like so brave and so strong of Edema's character and I think this was honestly a great character moment our boy Edema as well you know addressing the fact that he is most worried about being lonely and how he felt that darkness of loneliness again but then coming out of it was just like a, a really emotionally powerful episode I felt. With Edema looking so like hella devilishly awesome at the end there was it just me where I thought like you know Edema's little smirk after he fried the bow had the little smirkiness that double phrase in my head I just felt like so yeah with that definitely can't wait till next time's episode until then make sure you guys stay awesome and i'll definitely catch you guys then